What's up guys, Maria here. Today we're making a Stranger Things themed storage box. This is a really fun and easy DIY and would make a really cool gift for any Stranger Things fan. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my other Stranger Things tutorials including my DIY Stranger Things party where I make a portal to the I bought this old jewellery box on eBay. You can find them by typing out wardrobe jewellery box or dresser jewellery box on eBay. They're typically between 10 to 30 pounds or 15 to 40 dollars. They'll most likely have floral designs etched into the glass, so I'm going to replace it completely. You can cut the glass yourself using a glass cutter or you can take it to your local glass shop and they should be able to do it for you for $5 or less. Before you take the old glass out, spray the entire thing with black spray paint. I'm going to paint my design using acrylic paint. These are the colours I'm using but you can do whatever kind of colour or design you like. To divide the top part from the bottom part, I put some masking tape down, which is not exactly straight, but hey, it seemed straight at the time. And then I took a sponge and I just started blending the colors in. created a line between the colors using a Sharpie pen and paint. I painted on some trees using different shades of red and I shaded the bottom of them to look a little bit lighter. Take a pencil and sketch out your design, and I'm using a Sharpie pen just to draw them in. So I cut out a piece of MDF board, you can use cardboard, wood, MDF, it's up to you. I spray painted it black and then I printed off a picture and stuck them on. I rolled out some polymer clay and bent it towards the shape to make a frame and then spray painted it. Stick everything together with glue gun or some super glue. I made some handles out of polymer clay, spray painted them black and then stuck on an Ego sign. I stuck them onto the existing handles on the box using super glue. For the windows, I sketched out a design on a piece of paper and placed my new pieces of glass on top. I traced my design onto the glass using some glass paint. I'll put the products I use in the description below. To fill in the colours, I bought a blue, red and yellow paint and mixed them together to make different colours. You can use paint that's especially for glass or you can use Mod Podge mixed with some food colouring. Once all the colours are dry, I'm going to fill the blanks in with black. Once that's all done, out with the old glass and in with the new. Place an LED light inside to make it light up. 